First of all, I will start by saying thank you, Jesus, for touching the life of many youth today in Idioro community. This is a community so sad of many people are afraid to walk around there. Many people don't believe they can be reformed. Many people don't believe there can be any good thing come out of that community anymore. I'm going to tell you right away, there are so many sons that are raised in Idioro community today and there's so many beautiful, wonderful girls raised as well. We are going to do everything we can to make sure that they are discipled. We've handed over many of them now. They even asked me to come and start church in that place. Can you imagine? Imagine that so we have already planted a church in the place today so we're going to for now meet only every Sunday somebody is taking over a pastor is taking over the place now we're going to meet them every Sunday and then we see how we progress from there one of the marvelous things that happened today was uh, you know helping some of them both girls and boys to start up business you know and many of them after watching my videos and then listening to my testimony and what we show them and how the message of the cross that we brought to them some of them just say no i'm leaving this place i'm not going i'm going back to my mother some say i'm going back to my father some of them their family are from Kwara state some from different different states and they said that they are going back to their state they don't want to be in this lump anymore they want they don't want to live that life anymore that was the great testimony it made me so joyful i felt like all the suffering coming over here the spending on buying the drinks and the bread and other things that we give to them the cash that we gave them it's worth it and I want to tell you, thank you so much, every of my sponsor, my partners, for doing what you're doing with me, for help, for helping me to accomplish all this milestone. Thank you so much. I truly, truly appreciate you. My heart bleeds when I see this this kid suffering this way. Look at how young they are. They are young, promising kids languishing in slump. How do you say that? We need to help them. And yes, we have started business for some of them today. And, and they're going to go and learn everything they need to learn. We hand them over to some guys that will take care of them. And then we will be liaising with the guys that is going to be in charge. Make sure none of them come back to that, that place again in Idioro. They are going to their families from today. I'm giving them transport fare already. So they are leaving. But the one that are going to Kuala State, we are sending every one of them back to the place. And we are going to support them. Make sure that they get business, something to win every one of them. Thank you once again for being part of Abounding Grace Foundation. Thank you for your support. We are so grateful. We are more than grateful, seriously. I have to also tell you that it wasn't an easy mission. It was very difficult, extremely difficult because it was so difficult to organize things. It was everywhere so rowdy. They don't, they don't want to listen to you. Everybody just acting anyhow. But by the time my testimony steps in and they begin to see what is happening inside the prison, trust me, many of them, they come down by force. They were forced to relax themselves and that's so marvelous. That is wonderful. Thank you, Jesus, for what you have done today. Idioro community is now for Jesus. They are the one that asked me to come and plant church inside there. So now we have one that community and we are going to other slums as well in Lego. There are so many places. We have Mush, we have an um, uh, Ikorodu, we have an uh, uh, Kota, we have in a, what was the name again? We have in a Ayetolo community, we have a, one other one, we have a very big one again in uh, Oshodi. So there are so many slums that we need to visit in Lagos. And in other places apart from Lagos, there are other, some other states that have slums as well. So we keep doing this, winning them for Jesus Christ and then establishing them in the Lord. That's the mission. One of the toughest discussions we had today was political thuggery. Going about killing people because you want somebody to become a president or you want somebody to become a governor. We dealt with that today. I explained to them exactly what is happening inside the prison. Many of them that are packed up in prison after fighting for the governor or for the president and killing people, they will then throw them inside prison when they get to the office because they don't want you to come and disturb them in their offices. So they throw you inside the prison for four years or eight years. Then when the time comes, they come and grant you amnesty again and you come and fight again. Every one of them has taken their decision today that it won't happen again. So we have to keep pushing so that we can be able to transform our society. Political thuggery is a menace, it's a disease. We need to stop our youth from dumbling into such madness. The painful truth about these young girls and young boys you are seeing here is that they truly have this godliness inside them. They are children of God. But the problem is that they are forsaken. They were abandoned by their parents at the very tender age. So they have no choice than to hit the street and try to survive. 
That is why you are seeing them here. And this very particular place, they've resolved to become criminal and live like criminals. But the truth is, if we show them that other side of the world, which is the love part of the world, if you show them that love, you will see their goodness. Look at this very young man here. He totally said that he has abandoned this. He's not interested anymore. He want to go back to school. The other one said he want to go back to the babbing that he was doing. So how are we going to turn our back on this one? It's not possible. We have to keep our eyes on them. We have to help them to grow. Nurture them. Draw them closer. Thank God I've raised actually some guys in this place that are going to follow up. Make sure that these girls and these boys never come back here. Look at these other two sisters. They are blood sisters. They are biological sisters. They ended up in this slum and they have been doing criminal things. Even some people doubt that they will change. But today, their life takes a total U turn, 180 degree turn around. That is something to glorify God for. So we are going to make sure that we see them actualize their dream, go back to what they love to do, which is hairdressing as well. We have to sponsor them. We do everything we can. So you and I have a whole lot of work in our hands to do. We have to get the money and help these ones. We have to make sure that they stand. And I'm happy that are going to look after them. We have a pastor that will be going around and mentoring these people, discipling them because I won't be able to be going there every day. I have a lot of work to do inside the prison, a lot of work to do on the street. There are so many other communities that are deadly slums that I need to visit. I can't stop in one place. May God help you all that are going to join us to achieve this uh, great task. It's going to be really, really difficult, but I believe we can do it. If you have been really looking at their faces, you understand what I'm talking about. Their faces are showing the face that are forsaken, the face that are wounded. They carry inner injury. Their inner heart, inner part of their life are bleeding. No one to talk to, no one to complain to. They don't even know what is called mommy or dad. They don't understand. They don't understand what is called parents. So I must step up today to be their father and be their mother. You and I can do this. Those that are looking for a child to adopt, someone to live with. Oh, you see them here. Forget about their looks. There is something beautiful inside them. Let's give it a try. Come down here with me and adopt one of them. Take them to school. Help them to grow. We can do it. God bless you.
when you call me, then you start a new one. Yeah, go help you start Baba, okay? Help you send you for an time to go. Yeah? Where the other one? Where the other guy? Where is the other guy? No. No, no, for that they are not back. Okay, um, Joseph, how am I taking care of you? You are a number. Okay, you are a number. You are my flyer. Where is the flyer? You can help us. We will go there and take one leg for you. They, they want to go back to Palestine. Eh? And they give them their 8,000 uh, transport to transport to Ghana. You know, they go and learn. I don't need a number to give you. You have my number already. I don't want to reach them here and there. We are good. Okay, now. I don't want to send you. Okay, now. Okay, now. No, we take this one to transport way back here. Yeah? Where that flyer? Where the flyer? See my number here. Yeah? This one is my direct number. You will call me. Yeah? Uh, if you get a place, you know, if you like uh, free styling, yeah? If you get a place where they start something, let you call me. I go buy you two bagging machines, and then we go help you get your start. One day, you make my three thousand. I said, you know what? So you can walk around and buy and make money. Let you know go back to your old ways. You take this money, and come with you. You let me. Yes, call my number. Call the number, my dad's number, so we will help you. When I ask number, you meet you, yeah? You go there, you go to your mama. Wait before you talk to talk to your mother. I want to teach you. Your grandmother, yes, I'll talk to your grandma. Yeah, no one let you continue the way you're going. Are you hearing me, okay? So two or three, I'm assuring you, that's what we can do today. When we learn finish, when we learn finish, we will start that business for them. We will buy the machine for them. The promise why they give, when it's happening, I need to give you that promise. And if you guarantee me, say, you know, we will go back to your own world. We will come back here. We come back. If you come back here, we will go fit and wear well. If you come here, we will go fit you. So, listen, I said the young man, you know, we come back here. This one, I said, I need them for you. So you will take care of them. You will take my number. Yeah? I want you to help me change some boys in five years. Change some boys. Let's see how you help them. Yeah? Let's start and go. Two of you, that's 30,000 dollars. You must not come back to your old ways. You hear me now. If you see them, you are making way that can. Yeah? You will float them very well, well on my behalf. I will come. Yes, sir. So if you truly want to give your life to Christ, if you want to give your life to Christ, everyone of you, put up your hands.